good morning, uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Srinath. Uh, how are you? I hope uh, you are very well. Uh, today we will uh, take uh, this uh, snubbing uh, operation. Today we have the snubbing operation. Uh, this is the third day uh, of our course. Uh, I hope uh, that you uh, in, uh, during the uh, last three days. Uh, how was with you uh, about uh, completion operation, completion equipment, and uh, wireline? Did you find any difficulty, any problem like this, or uh, the uh, answers, questions, uh, explanation? Uh, you enjoyed it, or you you yes, find? Sir. The course is very good. Very good. So you enjoyed uh, about it. So let us uh, now uh, continue uh, uh, today. It's now. So uh, I will uh, just. Uh, uh, put the presentation uh, just to explain it. Uh, so it's nothing. Uh, this is uh, the presentation. You have it, I think, right? Very good. Yes. So, uh, my friend, uh, I want you just to tell me what do you know about snubbing? Snubbing is an operation where we do all the jobs on a live well without killing the well. Without killing the well. Very nice. This is a golden roll without killing the well. So the well is live, right? Yes. Very nice. In this case, uh, why uh, don't we kill the well and make it? It is one day or two days. I prefer to kill the well. What do you say? They don't want to kill the well because the, the, the build up time will be more if you kill it. Also, it will damage the formation. Ah, damage the formation. This is what I want to to listen, to to, uh, to hear from you. So damage the well, damage the formation. I don't want to damage the formation, uh, yes. especially uh, some wells uh, have low low pressure reservoir pressure. So if you kill the well, you will kill it forever. Yes. Right. So I have to avoid that. How by running the snubbing. So what is the idea of snubbing? Can you have any imagination about it? You work snubbing, uh, Mr. Srina? Yes, uh, we sometimes go there to run completion. Yes, uh, tell me just a quick idea. I will go into details, but just a quick idea, just to know uh, about your background, please. So, snubbing unit has uh, strippers. Strippers? And, uh, yes. They have two types of slips. Yes. One is stationary slip and one is uh, moving slip. Traveling and moving, yes. What else? So they switch these strippers one by one. Also the slips one by one to always uh, keep the well closed. Uh, keep the well closed. So we have two types of securing the well. From inside and outside, right? Yes. Inside, what do we put uh, inside in the BHA? They put a back pressure valve. Excellent, yes. And about the external, what do we put? We have the pipe ram, Slippers. annular yeah. preventer, yeah, annular preventer and pipe ram, right? Yes. And if we want to shear the pipe, uh, we can uh, cut the pipe using the shear rod and secure the way. Yes. And we have uh, two uh, rams, uh, pipe ram, top one and lower one, right? Yes. Why is this? To always uh, keep one of them closed. Closed. So, if I have, uh, I uh, say this is the pipe. This is the, the tool joint. So, if I want to uh, run down. So, this I have uh, pipe ram top one and bottom one. Right? So, if I want to go down, I have to equalize this chamber between uh, top ram and bottom ram. Right? Yes. Then I can open the bottom one and uh, strip down. Then I close it. If I want to open uh, the top one, I have to bleed off the pressure between the two rounds. Then I can add another joint and so on. We'll see these details uh, uh, hopefully uh, in the uh, next few hours. So we have something we call it uh, pipe weight, uh, heavy pipe and light pipe. What is the meaning of heavy pipe and light pipe, please? So heavy pipe is when uh, 
the weight of the pipe is more than the well pressure excellent so we have a pressure equals force divided by area right the area for example is three and a half inch we know how uh, to uh, pr square right this is yeah. the area uh, this is fixed but for the pressure pressure is the wellhead pressure so pressure times area equals force right so this force, if it is uh, less than the uh, force that is coming from the well, what do we call it? Light pipe or heavy light pipe. light pipe. Very nice, very nice. Now if we run more and more and more, after it's that, heavy pipe. Uh, heavy pipe. So it will run by itself, right? Without stripping. Am I right? Yes. Excellent. And, uh, there's something called balance point. Uh, there is balance point between light pipe and heavy pipe. Yes. So we have to know this uh, balance point. Very nice. So uh, now uh, let us uh, talk why uh, do we, uh, what are the operations, the types of the operations uh, that we uh, run uh, uh, using the uh, stripping, uh, stripping unit. We can uh, pull and run uh, completion strings, right? Uh, we can uh, run concentric uh, op uh, completions inside the existing completion. So uh, this uh, sometimes uh, we call it insert strings or velocity strings. Uh, also, we can do milling. We can do washing uh, below the tailpipe. If we have a scale, if we have uh, um, we have uh, any damage in the casing, uh, if we have any build up uh, for obstruction, we can do it. Also, we have a through tubing a gravel pack. Uh, you know the gravel pack, pieces of the rock. Uh, this is uh, 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 doing as if a filter, filter inside the well uh, that will uh, obstruct the sands, uh, sand particles from going from the formation to the well. So also we can uh, do that. Also, we can do uh, cleaning uh, the propans. Uh, the, you know the propans, artificial sand, that we use it in the frac operations. Also, after a frac, we can use it uh, to uh, circulate it uh, bottoms up, then uh, we can get it at, uh, out of the surface. Also, if you have uh, fish stuck, uh, you have fishing, uh, uh, for example, tool string, you have a pipe, you have anything, you have a, a lost tool string, you have ball valves, you have coil tubing, all of these, you can fish them. Why? Because the pulling uh, force is very high. It might be how much, uh, you, you imagine how much uh, do we, can we uh, pull? 200,000 uh, 200, pounds or more? Yes. More maybe, but... So 100 tons, right? 100 tons it is huge so all of these we can do all of them and many 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 now i want to ask you about the collapse if we run in the hole we have internal check valve at the bha but the external we have annular preventer or uh, a pipe pipe run. now uh, you ask me uh, is there a possibility to get collapsed for this uh, drill string, uh, for this tubing or drill string or whatever, or not? Collapse. Yes, possible. How can we avoid this collapse? Very nice, very nice. How can you avoid it? What shall you do from time to time? To put inside... Fill, huh? fill, fill, fill the string, yes. You have to fill the string to avoid this collapse from time to time. Very nice. Till now, we are friends, me and you. Uh, there is no deviation. Very nice. So we have advantages and disadvantages for this snubbing. Uh, advantages, uh, as you mentioned, uh, we have we can eliminate uh, the use of kill fluids that will contaminate what? The formation. Uh, we have also uh, logistics, handling, uh, environmental, all of this. Because if you want to kill the well, you have to move the tanks, uh, you have to move the pump, you have to uh, surface lines, uh, uh, prepare the uh, brine, kill fluid, mud, so uh, too many things. So uh, you have to uh, prepare maybe for one week to kill the well. 
it may not be killed also. In this case, what we have to do, we have to avoid this and at the, at the end of the day, the formation is protected. We don't do anything inside the well except by filling the uh, work string with what? With water. water. Yes, water. It is uh, uh, then when we pull out, it will uh, be retrieved to the surface. What else? We can reduce or eliminate the formation damage potential. This we talked about it. Also, we have a high load uh, push, uh, pull, rotate and pressure working envelopes. How? We can rotate the string, this one, right? Uh, we can also pull very much, too much uh, uh, tension and we can uh, put also. So pull uh, and push. If you want to mill, uh, if you want to wait, right? You can put uh, put five tons, ten tons, twenty, whatever you want to what without uh, buckling. You know that coil tubing uh, can get buckling easily. While this one, a three and a half inch or more, has bigger size. Why the coil tubing is one inch, one and a half inch, two inch. But for a three and a half, we are talking, or four and a half. Uh, in this case, uh, we can uh, say that the buckling is not, uh, not possible in this case. Uh, what else? The ability to rotate the work string after uh, under pressure. This is, this cannot be done using the coil tubing, right? So yeah. this is one of the advantages. Uh, also, the reduction of overall cost. If you compare the cost of the snubbing unit with the cost of the coil tubing, there will be much difference. The coil tubing is much cheaper. Also, a small footprint uh, compared to the work of a rig. Also, you can uh, do the job and go within uh, two days or three days. Why the work of a you need the preparation, you site, uh, uh, everything. But on the other hand, on the other side, you have also disadvantages uh, of this snubbing unit. What are they? Uh, you know that when you run coil tubing, you can run uh, 10,000 feet within three hours. Why this one, you will need about, say, 12 hours. Uh, you will need uh, about 12 hours or more. Why? Because you are making up every, jo every joint. Every joint, open uh, uh, top uh, by bra, uh, uh, bottom one, close the upper, and so on. Bleed off and equalize. We will talk about it now. We have to bleed off the chamber between the space between the uh, bottom uh, ram and top ram. We have to bleed it off and then we have to pressure it up, equalize. Uh, so this takes time or not? I think it will take time. Uh, also due to a uh, trip times uh, and working with single pipe. This is also delaying the job. You are the working with single string and uh, uh, trip time. Uh, every joint you have to uh, rotate and uh, uh, bleed off and equalize. Bleed off and uh, every time. So more expensive service if it is required with coil tubing. Why? Because coil tubing it is one string. Run in hole straight away. Pull out of the hole straight away. We were doing uh, one job per day. Every 24 hours one job of coil tubing. So in this case, uh, it is very easy and cheap. But in the meantime, you may uh, kill the well. You may damage the formation. So here we have advantages and disadvantages. Also, usually uh, more time consuming. Why? Uh, for rig up, uh, mobilization, uh, for everything, if it is compared to the coil tubing. So for coil tubing, uh, I was utilizing coil tubing. Uh, in one day, you can uh, move, rig up, pressure test, run in hole, do the job, pull out of the hole, uh, rig down, then be ready for moving to the next location. In one day. Why this one? No, impossible. So big difference. But if you compare it, here we have advantages and uh, disadvantages, and here we have advantages and disadvantages. So uh, if you tell me what uh, applications uh, can I uh, 
uh, utilize uh, this snubbing unit. I will tell you some of them. For example, spotting and pumping acid and cement. Uh, we can clean out also obstructions uh, inside the tubing, inside the casing, inside the uh, drill pipe and what the DST string. Uh, we have also uh, well, pro uh, well control problems uh, on drilling and work over operations. We can uh, solve uh, this also, well control problems. Well abandonment, when you want to, uh, uh, how can we do abandonment, uh, Mr. Srinath? By spotting uh, uh, cement uh, bridge, uh, bridge plug uh, down, uh, bridge plug and above its cement, 100 feet, uh, and you have to go to the uh, 9 and 5 8 inch casing, or also you can set cement uh, below it 100 feet and above it 100 feet. And at the surface, you have to set cement from surface till 300 feet. So this is the procedures, uh, no, uh, normal procedures for plug and abandonment. So in this uh, uh, stripping uh, unit uh, or snubbing, you can uh, do the abandonment uh, program very easily without any problem. Also, we can do perforation or and re-perforation for particular uh, using, uh, particularly using what? Long TCP guns. Uh, we may use 100 feet, uh, 70 feet, like this. So if you use, we use it, we run uh, this uh, string, uh, how can we uh, 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 do the perforation uh, shoot in this case? What is the method? Hydraulic? Isn't it hydraulic? We can drop a ball. This ball will uh, go to the detonator, uh, apply pressure, it will shoot. Right? There is no electrical cable inside. So we have to uh, drop a ball inside the uh, string and uh, apply pressure on it. This pressure will uh, make detonation and uh, shoot the perforation. Uh, what else? Uh, we can uh, run and pull wire line and other mechanical tools, especially where in highly deviated wells. Uh, more than what you remember? How many degrees? 60 to 70 degrees, excellent. Sometimes 60, 65, 70, but more than 60, uh, 50, 40 like this, impossible to run wireline. You have to run either cold tubing or snubbing. What else? Wells that cannot be killed. Why? Because of heavy cross flow. We mentioned that from high pressure zone to low pressure zone. So if you kill the well, everything will go to where? To low pressure zone. In this case, uh, the killing operation is failed. So you have to uh, take care of this and uh, know what is going on. So this cannot uh, be killed this well because of uh, heavy cross flow between zones, low pressure zone uh, and high pressure zone or other downhole problems uh, that uh, cause inability to hold a full column of a fluid. So this full column of fluid cannot be held. Why? Because the oil fluid will go to the, we call it thief zone. Thief zone can uh, take oil fluids from the well. Also, we have low pressure wells, such as what? Such as gas well. With this, if you pump uh, this uh, fluid or uh, kill mud, it will go to uh, the formation. It will not be uh, in the well. Uh, and in this case, why is it? Because we have low reservoir pressure in this case. So pressure, uh, low pressure wells that require a kill fluid weight that it must be lower than the seawater density. These are uh, usually gas wells. So seawater, how much is it? We said fresh water 0.433 psi per foot. Seawater, how much is it? 0 0.465. 0 0.465. PSI per foot. Excellent. So you are still young. You don't forget. Till now, you don't forget. Very nice. I really, I am very happy with you. Uh, general snubbing. So what PPG? It's uh, 9, right? Or Sorry? Sorry? In PPG? Uh, in PPG, uh, uh, 0.433, uh, this is what? Fresh water. Uh, PSI per foot. In PPG, 8.33. PPG. Yeah. 
for uh, 0.465 uh, psi per foot in ppg it is 8.9 if you write it down please 8.9 8.9 uh, ppg for fresh water 8.33 for uh, sea water 8.9 ppg Till here, you have any question, uh, Mr. Srinath? No, good. Very nice. Uh, general snubbing, uh, PCE setup, pressure control equipment. What do we have? You told me that we have a stripper bowl. We will see them now. Uh, we have annual preventer. We have safety ram, or, or we call it pipe ram, right? Uh, we have a blind ram if we uh, want to uh, close on the well. If we don't have any uh, pipe in the well, we have a blind ram. Also, if you want to shear, what shall you use? Also, we should use uh, shear rounds yeah, or sure. cutter rounds. Excellent. Uh, we have also a Christmas tree uh, wellhead connection. So above the, the Christmas tree, we do all of these, right? Above the Christmas tree. As if uh, you are uh, rigging up wire line or coil tubing or whatever. So the Christmas tree will stay there. And uh, there is wellhead connection or flange. This flange could be 3 and 1 8, could be 4 and 1 16, could be 5 and 1 8. Do you want to write the sizes? Okay. Oh, write the sizes, please. The flange, we have uh, 3 and 1 8, uh, 4 and 1 16, uh, uh, 5 and 1 8. So these are the main three sizes of the three connection. So if using or running, we can use also a taper string how taper string uh, mr srina we can run from the bottom two and seven eight or two and three eight and on the top we run three and a half inch right so in this case uh, we can utilize uh, this one why because we want to reduce uh, this weight uh, of the pipe in the way if you can do it with with uh, two and seven eight or two and three eight why shall you use the whole string uh, to a uh, three and a half inch there is no need so we call it taper string we can run it in the hole uh, then additional safety uh, runs should be installed pipe runs so normally we install three and a half inch pipe run right in this case either you have to install a pipe run from the bottom pipe run and the top we have variable uh, variable run variable pipe run uh, it can close on two and seven eight two and three eight three and a half four and a half uh, variable uh, uh, variable pipe run look at here uh, this is the snubbing uh, this uh, snubbing uh, rig up on christmas tree uh, let us uh, put it here please so this is snubbing uh, what uh, how can we uh, explain about it uh, the, so a snubbing a rig up on a christmas tree with annular bop this is annular bop for this one the right one what do we call it this one a snubbing rig up on christmas tree with dual stripper uh, we have dual stripper you know stripper about the cold tubing we are talking the stripper we have coil tubing, we have a tandem stripper, uh, a side door stripper, radial stripper, uh, we have conventional stripper, so this is a stripper uh, bowls. Uh, here, what is the difference between this and this? Can you uh, explain about the snubbing on the Christmas tree with annular preventer? This one, Mr. Srina, this one. Yes, what is this, please? From top to bottom. Or from bottom to top, we have Christmas tree, we have connection on it. Above it, we have snubbing uh, BOPs. Yeah. Snubbing BOPs, yes. Uh, then above uh, snubbing uh, BOPs, what do we have here? Stripper yeah, rams. Ram and uh, equalizing loop. Excellent, excellent. So this is the heart of the snubbing unit, this one. Do you agree? Let me put uh, uh, this one, please. Uh, pointer with the ah this is the pointer so look at this my friend this is the heart of the snubbing unit you see it this is the heart of the snubbing unit so this we have here uh, a stripper run this is stripper run this one uh, we have equalizing loop you see the equalizing loop this one 
also we have the bleed off line this is the bleed off line so this one and this one we open and close consequently this one you see it? this one and this one we open and close consequently how if you have uh, let us first continue with this one so annular BOP this we can use it also uh, we have also jacking system the jacking system uh, this we have uh, traveling slips on the top and stationary slips that you mentioned have you seen them on yes. site have you seen yes. them very nice so uh, one of them uh, down which is stationary slips and the other one we have what on the top traveling slips so yes. uh, here we have a crane you see or what do you call it a boom or like this just to uh, install the joint uh, or remove joint uh, we have also a tongue a tongue to tie and untie the uh, joint now if you have uh, if you want to run down uh, what shall you do uh, what is snubbing uh, the uh, string what is snubbing the string pipe rams or these this system what what will what will it snap both of them this and this what do we call them these traveling and yeah stationary slips slips excellent so uh, we can snip a slip down uh, or a snip down or uh, leave it uh, to run by its weight so we have two modes either pipe heavy pipe or light pipe with heavy pipe we leave it to run by itself with light pipe we have to snub to enforce what does it mean snub in english you have to enforce i push you for example i push you towards a wall for example and then i i am snubbing you this is the meaning if uh, in english like this so in this case we snub this and this to push it down and when we uh, so uh, we call, uh, call it snub in snub in running hole uh, snub out what well, pull out of the hole so this is the difference between them now uh, this one and this one here we have tool joint right if you run the tool joint here shall it if you close this pipe ram this one or uh, safety ram if it is closed can you run it through the pipe ram or safety ram or not? No. Excellent. How can we do? Tell me. You reach on top of uh, that one? Yes. It is closed, right? Yeah. Closed. closed. Yes. When the tool joint, sure when, the, the when the tool string, uh, when to, the tool joint reaches to the top ram, this ram, what happens? What shall I do? You have to close the bottom one. Uh, both, uh, uh, Mr. Strian, this is closed and this is closed. What shall I do? The tool joint is here now. And at this point, what shall I do? You need to bleed off. Ah, very nice. I bleed off from here, right? From here. Yeah. This is bleed line. Yes. In this case, the pressure between these two rams, what is it? Atmospheric. Atmospheric. Excellent. So... In this case, can I open this safety ram or not? Yes. Excellent. That answer, that what I need. Then, if I open this one, in this case, uh, can I run the tool joint from this position to this position? Can I do that? Yes. Excellent. I run it. After that, what shall I do, Mr. Srinath? Close the upper BOP and close. A close the upper pipe ram or safety ram we call it not BOP a pipe ram or safety ram either this okay. or this excellent I close this one what shall I do next then you open the bottom one open how bottom one if I have zero atmospheric pressure here no, we already equalized where equalized so open this to equalize the pressure from here to here to here that what you mean yeah. Now it will be well pressure. Ah, well pressure. So the pressure will transfer from here 
to here to here. This is equalizing loop. We call it equalizing loop, right? Yes. This one. So when I open equalizing loop, what will happen? The pressure between the two RAMs, uh, bottom uh, safety RAM and top uh, safety RAM or pipe RAM, what shall be in this Equal case? Well, pressure. well head pressure. Okay. Yeah. Then what shall I do for this one? I can bottom pipe RAM. open. Yes. If I open it, then uh, the tool joint is here. What shall I do now? Snap. Yeah, start running. Snap down. Snap yeah. down till it reaches to here. Then I close this safety ram or pipe ram. After yeah. closing it, what shall I do? You open the bottom rams. Open the bottom ram. No, no, I close this one. What shall I do? There is no tool joint here. I have a new tool joint here in this area. Repeat the step. I repeat the step. That's it. Easy or difficult? Some people, some people imagine that snubbing is uh, as if you are inventing an aeroplane or you are going to the space or to the moon. But you see, we explained it, it me and you within five minutes. Yeah. I need you now to help me and tell me how can I uh, snub out. I snub in now. I have to snub out. Just tell me the procedures. I will not help you. You will help me. Yes, uh, Mr. Srina. Okay, so once you reach the bottom pipe ramp, the tool joint reaches the bottom pipe ramp. Here, here you mean? Yes. Yes. What would happen? Make sure the top ram is closed. This one and this one are closed. You are right. Yeah. Yes. After that. Open, open the bottom one. Open this one. Excellent. Excellent. Then, then now the tool joint is between both the rams. Uh, we uh, pick it up to here. Position it here. Yes, after that. Then you close the ram, bottom pipe ram. It close the, this one. Yes, I agree with you. Then. Then you bleed off uh, to zero. From here. To atmospheric yes. pressure. This one. Yes. Excellent. After that. Then you open the upper uh, pipe ram. Yeah, then top. Out of the hole. Excellent, excellent. Then you pick up or snap out. Up. In this case, after you snap out, I position the tool joint here. What shall you do? Close the BOB. It close, it not, not BOB, uh, Mr. Srinath. Top, top, uh, top safety ram or pipe ram. Top. We have top, top and top. bottom. Close it. Yes. After that, then you equalize. Equalize from here till here. Then repeat it. Is it yes. easy or difficult? Easy. Very easy. Okay. Now this is snubbing rig up on Christmas tree with annular preventer. This is the annular preventer. Now well, in the next slides, we will know what is the function of the, uh, the annular preventer. Now this one, what's the difference? Mr. Srinath, between this one there and this one. No annular. No annular. Instead of annular, what do we have here? Stripper bowls. A stripper bowls. Yes. So the same as uh, uh, this one, uh, annular preventer. But, and we can repeat it the same. It is very, very easy. Don't imagine how much it is easy. Till here, you have any question, Mr. Srinath? No. No. Uh, let us uh, move on to the next uh, slide. Now, uh, stripping BOPs or strippers, which is, we call it a primary barrier. A primary where? Internal or external? Internal. Internal, we have check valve in the VHA, right? No. Uh, this is external, a, a primary barrier. We'll see what is the primary and what is the secondary. So this is the primary barrier. We call it a stripping BOP or strippers. Uh, we have a stripping BOPs are a standard RAM type BOP. As if any pipe RAM, what do you need? We have a three and a half inch, you install three and a half. You have a four inch, a four and a half, you install four and a half, and so on. And uh, uh, used uh, same as uh, drilling operations with the special elements. Why? To enable them to seal 
on the uh, work string or moving string up or down. Uh, these we call them BOPs. We can uh, use them as the primary well control uh, when the well head is greater than the well head. Uh, these uh, greater than the stripper uh, bowel can handle alone. Uh, example 2500. Uh, you know the uh, stripper bowel. Stripper bowel. Uh, these. We can use them, uh, these pipes, uh, when the pressure is high enough, more than, for example, 2,500. The pressure rating and size are determined by the wellhead pressure. So if you have 5,000 PSI, you cannot use pipe ram 2,000 PSI. So it should be the uh, uh, same as wellhead pressure plus safety margin. So uh, by the wellhead pressure and uh, work to be undertaken. Uh, they are always used in pairs, not only one, Mr. Srinath, who pairs, one top and bottom, to enable what the tool joint to be worked through, uh, as we, what we, you explained now, exactly, exactly, uh, through while still retaining a seal around the pipe. Now, the idea is understood. Uh, they are always furnished with an equalizing loop. We have equalizing loop that and bleed off uh, loop, a bleed off line. Equalizing loop with hydraulically operated valves. We have HR, HCR. What does it mean, HCR, Mr. Srinath? Uh, it's like choke. Yes, choke. What do we call it? HCR. What's the meaning of HCR? High closing ratio. If you write it down, please. HCR, we use it on drilling. And we can use it where also in snubbing. HCR, high closing uh, ratio. This is the uh, abbreviation uh, of this one. So we can uh, open it and close it remotely from the remote panel. So these uh, we have uh, here uh, on the uh, loop and also on the bleed off line, right? Here and here. So I, it is not logic. To send somebody, operator or assistant, uh, please go and uh, open and close this one. Uh, I will put him in trouble and, and the rest. I don't want to, to do that. So, uh, it can be operated uh, hydraulically uh, with this HCR. Uh, uh, from the BOP uh, console in the work basket. We have work basket at the top. At the, uh, this work basket, the operator, the uh, assistant. Oh, so, uh, how many guys, uh, two or three, will stand on the work basket? Three guys. Uh, three guys. So, uh, on this, uh, we call it, uh, what do we call it? Work basket. Uh, three guys will stop there and will control everything. We have console also. Uh, this console is for the operator. Yeah. So, uh, he can communicate and open close like this. And connect it immediately uh, below each, each BOP or each pipe run. Uh, if you see this one, uh, my friend, uh, you see below it. You see, this is below it, below the pipe run. And this is below the pipe run, this one. In this case, uh, below the uh, pipe run, uh, a bleed off line also. We have equalizing line and we have bleed off line. This bleed off line with similar control valves, also SCR. We can open it to bleed off the pressure as we explain, is connected uh, between the two BOPs. You see, it is connected between what? The two BOPs, the top one and bottom one. Why? Because we, within this space, we have to make the pressure same as atmospheric pressure to allow us to open the top row. Uh, it is normal practice to have to change the inner seals we have inner seals uh, with their inserts during the course of the operation sometimes uh, look at this one uh, this ram uh, is damaged this one the top ram what can i do i can close this one lower one bleed of pressure above and i can uh, what uh, change it out but you have two barriers what are they i have here in the bop i have what i have i have pipe run right this is number one 
here safety run we call it safety run this is number two so two barrier philosophy should be applied here we cannot jump it then you can do that here if you want to change the lower safety run what shall you do if you have a pipe run here pipe run here you can close both of them and bleed off above the pressure and you can change it up the insert you know the insert you can change yeah. it very nice so it is normal practice to have to change the inner seals uh, with their inserts during the course of the operation uh, now stripping bops or strippers you saw uh, uh, these uh, strippers these are installed where above the bop system and below the hydraulic uh, ja hydraulic jack so the stripping bops uh, here we call them safety rams right stripping bops safety rams this one or safety rams stripping this one we call it stripping bops or strippers these are installed where above the bop system and below the uh, hydraulic jack uh, they perform total sealing during the string running operation we talked about it they perform total sealing so primary barrier the leak rate how much zero we agreed on that this is part uh, main part of the iwcf so a primary barrier should have leak rate zero uh, they perform total sealing during the string running operation they are connected through a bypass we have a bypass or equalizing loop we we talked about it to balance the pressure pressures above and below the lower stripper the lower stripper pressurizing the ceiling chamber ceiling chamber is this one this one ceiling chamber and now uh, stripper uh, stripper function what is the uh, function of the stripper i will put it uh, on the uh, you see this is the stripper function we have this one we have this one you see so here what do we have here we have a pressure gauge for the wellhead pressure, well pressure. this uh, gauge for what ceiling chamber. Uh, for the space uh, the yeah. chamber chamber between lower ram and top ram right this one now the basic function includes the use of a double set of strippers we have this set and this set so a double set of strippers that must be opened and closed alternatively this is closed this is open this is open this is closed alternatively and consequently uh, to allow the passage of the tool joints you see the tool joint this one i will allow it to run through it right to here uh, of the tool joints and the uh, subsequent stripping of the tube smooth part until you see this is smooth part this is so if you want to run the tool joint here across this it will not pass never so the smooth part we it can hold the smooth part only this one until the next joint this is the next joint reaches the closed stripper this is the closed stripper you see it yeah. then the stripper alternate opening and closing so we open this and close this is aided by bypass bypass what is it here is uh, we have bleed off this one we have HCR this one and we have to open it if we open it here the chamber will have uh, atmospheric pressure then you can run it. the bypass where is the bypass this one bypass allows to transfer of the wellhead pressure from here you see the yellow one Mr. Srina the yellow one wellhead pressure from below the lower stripper to below the what the upper stripper you see this one uh, now here there is something uh, some people are confused about it i want you just to shift this one this one to shift it one centimeters down this one you see 
yeah, I know you understand it. But uh, in the drawing, it is not accurate. We have just to shift this one one centimeter down. And this one also one centimeter down. One centimeter. Yeah. This one is centimeter and this one centimeter down. Why? Because we are bleeding from here, from below to below this one. But it is not clear here. So, so the bypass allows the transfer of the well head pressure from below the lower stripper to below the upper stripper. So that the chamber here, chamber between two rungs, is pressurized, allowing the opening of the what lower stripper. Yeah. Clear, I think uh, you are very familiar, but just to uh, refresh our knowledge. Now, stripper stripping procedures. This is stripping procedures. The lower stripper is closed. Can you read it, please? Lower stripper. Uh, what well, this is? Exp finish this one, I think. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is this slide. No, we we are uh, we were here. You see, now we are uh, on the stripping procedure. Uh, this comes in the exam. This question comes in the exam. So please, if you focus on it, uh, please read, uh, Mr. Screener. Closed and the pressure in the chamber between the two strippers is bled off. Then the upper stripper is open. The string is running through the stripper until the joint reaches the closed rung. The upper stripper is closed and the chamber between the two strippers is pressurized at the well -prep pressure. The lower stripper is already opened, bending the string again down to the next joint. The principle is quite simple, but the equipment must necessarily be quite sophisticated considering that the intervention can be carried out at very high pressures. Oh. We have high risk. Don't imagine. High risk. If you are working at 5,000 PSI. So every step, you have to be accurate with it. You don't need to do any mistake. What is this? This is stripper runs. Stripper runs, yes. What do... Uh, can you explain a little more? So this is a bleed line, right? Bleed line. Yeah, bleed line Here, uh, equalizing. Equalizing line, then you have a ceiling chamber. Ceiling chamber, this one. Excellent. Uh, and we have here BOP. Pipe. Primary, yeah, BOP. Maybe pipe ram, shear ram, uh, blind ram, uh, whatever. But you, you should have pipe ram. Why? Because if you have uh, damaged the rams here, you have to chain them. You have need a double protection, double barrier. So here also, this is the regal. The bottom one is blind ram. A bottom blind ram, yes, to isolate it completely above the Christmas tree. Excellent. What is this? This is exactly what we have explained. Exactly. So we don't need to uh, uh, explain again because we gave it its uh, time. So, snubbing stripping uh, with stripper rams. Procedures. Uh, please go ahead, Mr. Srinath. Procedure. Close bottom stripper and ensure pressure above the rams is bled off. Move string through closed bottom stripper rams. When tool joint is inside the spacer riser between bottom and top stripper rams, then close top stripper ram and equalize pressure from below stripper to the above bottom stripper using equalizing loop. Equalizing loop, yes. Open bottom stripper. Mm -hmm. Move string through open bottom stripper ram until tool joint has passed and arrives to just below close top stripper rams. Close bottom stripper. Lead off pressure above bottom stripper. Lead off volume can be led through a separator or straight to the flare. Mm -hmm. Open top stripper rams. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Is the same or is this snubbing out? Snubbing out, yes. This is snubbing in and snubbing out. Or run in hole and pull out of the hole. Right? So, so this, is out of the hole, yeah? this is out of the hole. This is a closed, uh, closed this one. Then we can bleed off uh, uh, above and you can do it. Uh, till here, you have any question, Mr. Srinath? No, 
Very nice.